Hi, this is Godfrey, your trusted mentor. We are offering a candidate fast track system. This is the system that we have developed to help candidate engineers, technologists, and technicians to successfully complete TERs, TEOs, and engineering report within six weeks without confusion and wasting time. Today, I just want to share outcome number nine. Uh, but before I continue to outcome number nine, let's look at some of the candidates that we have worked with that came to our program and were successfully registered. We have Kwasana Ngaba here, registered as a PR mechanical, and uh, he came through our program and he said the fast track system makes the process easy, easy to follow. The guidance he offers on complying the engineer report and preparation for the review or interview is of a great help. So that's what the Kwasana is saying about the program. This is Mondly, a certified um, GCC engineer. He said, I tried on my own to do the reports without a mentor. Mr. Godfrey helped me to understand each step of the report writing process through coaching and reviewing my TEOs and TERs and the engineering report. He helped me to organize my experience and projects into clear logical roadmap and guided me to structure and write specific and detailed report content. I achieved my EXA registration within eight months. That includes writing the report and submitting to EXA through the whole process. And he says, Godfrey assisted me through the coaching sessions with guidelines to prepare for interview presentation accurately. And I'm so happy to be registered as a professional engineer in July. That was last year as a certificated engineer. And we said, well done to monthly. We've got Ivan here. And he says, it was really challenging for me to align my work experience with EXA outcome, but Godfrey made it easy. So this it is through the the program, this program, the candidate fast track program, where we take all our candidates through the nine steps. Okay, um, so there's a video on my LinkedIn and also on my YouTube where I'm explaining all these steps into details. So these are the people that are giving us testimonials and recommendation. We have uh, Isikwala here. He says you made the application and interview for registration as a PR tech with X relatively smooth for me and was very helpful and we said well done we have Busi here and she said he has been a good mentor or referee during my extra registration period i wouldn't have made it without you much appreciated and we've got tabo baba here he says the system really works and saves a lot of time he's talking about the candidate fast track system that we have designed and we implemented to help our candidate to prepare for their extra applications uh, reports and this really is the testimony from real people with real results if you want to see more of our, of our recent uh, candidate that came through our program and were successfully registered just go to the link on, on on this use this link for to access my linkedin profile and then you will see more of these uh, testimonies that we have in our recommendation section or you can just type Godfrey Mongwe um, LinkedIn and then you can see also on Google and then you can just go through that and click. So as I said, I just want to share quickly the outcome, which is outcome number nine, exercising sound judgment. These are just a simple discussion that I normally do, small videos just to give people. The first thing here is says the good sense to make judgment, getting work done in spite of numerous risk factors and substantiated decision making okay include consequences of engineering work or project e.g extra cost due to unforeseen condition incompetent contractors or long-term environment damage so so when you you attack outcome number nine it's important that you you first understand that outcome exercising self judgment think about the situation um in court a judge will never give his judgment until he has had um, the, the the case from the defending lawyer or from the uh, uh, state lawyer. What does that tell you? He is looking at options. Okay, so outcome number nine, it's about options. Okay, where all your options? So what is option one before you can take a decision? Uh, and then based on these notes that are here, uh, option one, does it include uh, extra cost? 
as a, option two is it about the incompetent of contractors option three is it about the long-term damage of the environment then other factors that you can take into account but this uh, outcome is all about the options that you need to weigh all right and then in weighing that also remember you need to identify interested and affected parties with defined needs that may be in conflict example need for a service irrespective of envir environmental damage or local traditions and preferences uh, etc you need sound management and judgment to achieve engineering work so as you you weigh on this option you must also take into account uh, the um, the outcomes that these uh, uh, options are going to present okay uh, and and then other factors that in you need to consider in weighing those different options so it's very very critical when you um, write this judgment this uh, outcome or attempt to write this outcome that you take various factors into consideration most people they struggle with this outcome because they're not understanding the framework around it okay it's all about the options that you need to weigh um, uh, for, uh, 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 taking into account numerous risk factors that are included in that um, um, judgment all right so that when you give your your outcome at the, at the end you are able to demonstrate that these are the things that we have factors that we've taken into account and the options and their various um, um, uh, uh, risks and then how did you actually come out with a solution to make sure that you present in a, 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 a judgment that is engineering sound okay the other thing is that taking risk decision will lead to equipment failure excessive installation and maintenance cost damage to person or property etc evaluation include engineering calculation to substantiate decision taken and assumption made. okay so here they give you a, a, a framework when you do this um, outcome you must take into account your engineering calculations okay or your design calculations on those various options okay and also you must make sure that you substantiate your decision with a assumptions that make sense okay so when you do this outcome it's very important that you think about those um, with, with that framework what are the options what are the outcome what are the things that, that I need to evaluate and then at the end you are able to give your sound judgment in that particular project or in that engineering work that you are doing or engineering activity so i hope this helps you just to give you a framework okay look at options what are the factors included and then go through each option and then outline exactly what are the consequences and the risks involved in this option and at the end of the day uh, for example if you've chosen three options these are the options of check you go for option number three and you give your final uh, decision and you substantiate that with assumption and with engineering calculation if there's a need for that i hope that helps you and in this slide i've just put you know some some project management tools that we normally normally use in in, in, in our engineering work and i will strongly encourage you that you look at these six uh, uh, factors when you do that uh, uh, judgment look at what is involved in terms of the scope of work okay look also what is involved in terms of time okay and then also what it is, it is involved in terms of cost or, or, or estimates for that particular project or engineering activity what are the risks involved in that activity or project okay what are the resources that you require in that activity or project and also what are the quality requirements that you need to adhere to or comply to in that activity so that you are able to properly you know uh, uh, outline your judgment based on that engineering activity and or project all right so that is actually a simple uh, understanding and uh, just a framework to help you to understand how to tackle this uh, uh, outcome number nine so if you want to need more we've got this link we have uh, recorded this webinar uh, last year here's a link for it where we go into details and then or you can send us an email if you need us to assist you with your reports you need us to mentor to coach you and to review your reports and then to help you also with referees if you need the referees and you don't have your own 
So I'm looking forward to seeing you in our coaching program in the near future. Cheers.